Hi everybody. I uh, last night I posted some pictures in the um, Foxy Crafters Facebook group of a bunch of um, yeah a pile of flower stickers that I had uh, cut using my Silhouette Cameo, um, along with pictures of some tags that I had made up um, using some of the stickers. And there was um, a lot of response people, you know, didn't realizing that they could, you know, do this kind of thing with their with their silhouettes um, and as, asking how to do it. So I'm going to try to do a quick walkthrough on uh, what to do. So, and then I'll post pictures of what I put in the Facebook group. I'll put those at the end of the video so that you can see some samples. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the most current version of your Silhouette software. Um, and to see what version you have, you can click on Help, <clears throat> and then About Silhouette Studio, and it'll tell you what version you have. Uh, now I uploaded um, sometime last 10 days to 2 weeks, um, the latest version. Uh, and mine's the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, release 4.2.471 SSDE. So, um, and when you open your uh, Silhouette software, you know, it's more than likely going to have this page setting on the, um, on the side here, but if you don't see that, you can go up to View, and show design page settings and this window will pop up. Um, now, I, I've never seen 12 by 12 sticker sheets and I can't put those through my laser printer anyway. So I'm going to change this to um, US letter size 8.5 by 11 so that I'm working with the proper size canvas. Um, and I use, um, what I really like using is the 3M full sheet labels. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they, they just, they go through the printer really well. Um, and they, they were relatively easy to get off the cutting mat. Um, another good source, if you don't want to spend that much money, is onlinelabels.com and you can get almost any size type label that you want. Um, full sheet labels in white or clear. They might even have craft because I have gotten uh, craft labels and you know other different type sizes. Um, but that's one source to check out. Um, and again that's onlinelabels.com. So you might want to check that out. Uh, they're based in Florida. Um, so it takes a few days to ship but it is pretty good. Um, okay, so once you're in here, the key to be able, being able to do print and cut with a silhouette is the registration marks. So you'll go back, you'll go to view and click on registration marks. It's going to bring up the registration marks window. Um, and it's probably going to say the style is off. On mine, it's type 1. Um, as long as it says, you know, Cameo or Portrait or Curio, whichever machine you have, um, just make sure you're clicking on whichever type shows your machine. So the registration marks, you've got all these hatch marks. You have the little black square and on the right side of the sheet, um, you know, you have the framing of half a box, and again down at the bottom on the left side. When you bring your image in, you want to make sure that it's inside these yellow lines. You can have some of the image inside these little hatch marks. That'll be okay but you don't for for cutting purposes you don't want any of your image going outside of these red lines so what I'll do here I'm going to do okay 
it's actually easier if you bring your image in, and I'm and I'm going to do that because you you're not going to be able to bring your image directly into this. So I'll start from scratch. So I'm going to do file, open, and I have a ton of Dover clip art, yeah, you know, that I saved onto my external hard drive, and I actually went through it all because every file is a single image. So I went through it all you know, set up pages in uh, Photoshop and um, created a single sheet with multiple flowers on it. So if you're bringing it in, um, you know, in a file like this, uh, saved as JPEG or TIFF, um, you can you can do that. Uh, to me it was easier than going back and forth and back and forth and I'll show you what back and forth means in a minute. Um, but you could, you should be able to create, if you don't have Photoshop, any software that you use that you can save your file as a JPEG or a TIFF, then you can create your files externally and bring it in like this so that you've got multiple images at once. So I'm going to choose this one. Okay, so this opened up a new tab. I want to see the registration marks. I have to you have to have those for this print and cut. Okay, so you can see this file is too large. It's going outside of the red lines. So I'm just going to click to select the whole thing and I'm going to drag to shrink it down so that there's nothing outside of those red lines. Okay. So then you want to tell it to trace. So you're going to go to this little trace, the trace panel icon. And yours might be, you know, however you have your set up, you know, to where your tabs are but it's specifically the open the trace panel icon. So you click on that. You want to select the trace area. So you click on that. And then you just go to the corner, click, and while you're holding that mouse key down, you're just dragging it to cover the whole area you want to cut. And I've let go of the mouse and you see it's highlighted and kind of splotchy yellow. If, if you try to cut this, you're going to get caca. I mean, it's that, that's, not even, that's not worth cutting. Um, so what you do now is go to Threshold and drag that all the way to 100. So if it's yellow, everything that's yellow is going to be traced. To give you the actual cut lines. So now I'm going to click on trace and now you can see everything has, has red lines and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see all these red lines are the cut lines. Okay so it's even going to go around all those little thorns. I mean it just blew my mind the detail that it got when cutting. Okay, so now you're going to go to File and Print. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go through that, but yeah, you know, click on Print. Choose your printer. You make sure you have your labels in there. And once it prints, and I don't know how well this is going to show because of the lighting right now with with this setup. But you'll see that the registration marks, you don't see the, any of the hatching, but you see that little black square in the top left corner. And you've got you know, part of the framing in the top right corner and in the bottom left corner. So now you're going you're gonna to put this whole thing onto your cutting mat. You're going to put it in your machine and you're going to click on File, Send to Silhouette. I'm not going to do that either because I'm actually not 
connected to it right now and, and it's just too noisy and everything else. Um, send a silhouette and what's going to happen is that the silhouette is first going to scan the page reading those registration marks. So then it'll know where to be looking for those cut lines. And it just, I absolutely love it. I'm not a fan, I'm not a, a big fan of the, um, the stickers that have a pretty significant amount of white border around them. And I like all the detail, you know, that, that you, you know, if, if you're really, really into fussy cutting, you're going to be using an X-Acto knife or something to get get stuff that's like all inside here, um, and that's what I want. I don't I don't necessarily want all that white white space in there. So the the silhouette handles it beautifully, absolutely beautifully. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see any of the detail. I'm going to try to hold one up and hope it comes out. But this is one of the rose images. I mean, the super fine lines on the leaves, on the buds. It, it's got the little thorns. It's just absolutely amazing. And then here's another one, the lily of the valley. And we all know how delicate that particular flower is. But it got all those little stems that are hanging off of the main stem holding the blooms on and I and I hope you can see that so I mean that's pretty much it in a nutshell I did okay I'm gonna have to insert this part in because uh, silly me duh completely forgot to um, show you about going back and forth back and forth uh, to bring images in if you don't want to create a full sheet inside of some other software and just bring that full sheet in. Um, if you just wanted to bring in a couple images or something um, then I'm going to show you how to do it here by bringing, bringing in individual images. Um, so you're going to go to File and Open. Uh, let's see. So do you have a bunch. I've, as you can see, I've got a lot of files here. Um, Dover downloads. I'm just going to grab some some of the flowers. As I mentioned, yeah, in this particular these clip art images from Dover, every flower is a separate file. Um, so to bring one in, I'm going to just click on one and hit OK, and it's going to open a new tab. Okay, so actually, let me, first, let, let me get my registration marks in here so that I know what I'm working with. Okay, so you, you're going to be going back and forth, back and forth between the two files. So you'll click on this one. You can go to, I'm just going to right click on my mouse. I'm going to choose copy. And I'm going to go back to my first file. I'm going to right click on my mouse again and choose paste. And you can see it's outside that red border. So I'm just going to drag it inside the red lines. And I'm actually going to shrink that down a little bit too. Okay, so there's one image in there. So I'm done with that. I can close it. And I want to bring in another one. So let me just do that. I'm going to do the same thing. Click on it to select it. Right click. Copy. Go back to the working file. Right click. Paste. And I'm going to move it. See this is one of the reasons why I like doing it into doing it in Photoshop creating the page and everything is because I can get rid of all this white space around the flower so I don't have overlap like this um, and that actually lets me get more flowers 
or more images on the page. But I'm going to shrink that down. And I'll bring in one more. I'll close that. I don't need it anymore. File open. Select it. Right click. Copy. Go back to the working file. Right click. Paste. And you see all, how all this white is blocking that? Yes. I mean, you can do that. You can keep it like that if you want to. To me, it's just easier to get rid of all that white space and create a full a full sheet of images before I uh, and then just bring that whole sheet in here. But you absolutely can. You can go back and forth and back and forth between your files until you create a sheet. And then it's it's the same thing. Um, you go to your trace icon, select the trace area. Take your threshold up to 100, and there's there's a bunch of little dots in there. Um, so some, rather than despeckle threshold, because I really haven't seen that work, I'll take this threshold down to 90 to 99 percent, and that gets rid of most of it. Um, you still might have it, you know, little spots here and there, but it's not that big a deal and then click on trace and you've got your red lines around it. So that's what I was talking about as far as back and forth and back and forth. Um, if you got to put that time in it anyway, then you know Photoshop is great to use. You can start with a blank background and you know get rid of get because a lot of these Dover images in and of themselves um, sometimes don't have a white background. Um, but I'm not going to get into all the technicalities of that, but you can do this right inside of your Silhouette software, um, or you can do it in an external program and get rid of that, that excess white space going around the images. Okay, so back on to the, the rest. <laughs> okay. Print some. Yeah, most, most of what I did were printed on white um, full label sheets. Uh, I did print some clear ones also, um, and you'll see an example of one of the clear ones on one of the tags, you know, in the picture of the video. It's the one with the sunflowers. That That's a clear label. Yeah, and on the tags, yeah, just, you know, book pages, sheet music, napkins, and the stickers. So, I just, it, it was nice to have a little bit of fun. Uh, and one, one pointer, when you're, when you want to take these off of the cutting mat, it's probably going to be pretty sticky and you do want to have a sticky cutting mat. Um, you are going to want to pull away <clears throat> all this white area around the cut images. You want to try to pull as much of that away first as you can and then you know, use some, some kind of tool to get underneath. This actually happens to be a, a Cricut tool that my sister had given me a set for my birthday and it just I love it because this actually I slide it directly underneath the label including the backing paper and I'm able to it slides under fantastic and I'm able to you know lift it and get underneath those fine stems and everything else so you do want you know some kind of fine tool um, and another quick note when you want to peel your stickers Oh gosh, I don't know if I have, I don't think I have a straight pin here. Uh, when you want to peel them, I found that if you use a straight pin and you stick it in the back, not all the way through, but you stick it in at an angle like this, so that you're getting just underneath that backing. And once you're in there, you haven't gone through the front, but once you're underneath this backing layer, you just kind of turn it so that you can loosen and lift the edge and it just it's so easy to peel that way and I wish I had I wish I had a straight pin here to to show you I don't have one handy though unfortunately so but that's just a tip because you know these 3M labels 
there's like one diagonal line that goes all the way across the sheet for peeling so you're not going to get that on most of any peel spots really on most of your stickers so a straight pen stuck in you know almost flush with the label just through this back this back layer don't go don't put it all the way through so you're back basically putting the pen between the backing and the image and then you twist it and then you can start to lift up and then easily separate so okay I think that's it I hope you have some fun with it I look forward to, look forward to seeing uh, what you come up with um, you know how much fun you have with it I will tell you it is addicting once you realize how much detail um, you're going to be able to get um, yeah, and I mean, you'll be able to have whatever kind of stickers you want. <laughs> so, have fun with that. Uh, hope to be able to see some of what you're able to accomplish with it. And that's it for now. I will hopefully see you soon. Till then, take care, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.